tonight I wanted to try and make a video to kind of help you guys out a little. Um, you know, you guys see all this computer stuff I've got. Um, so I wanted to make this video basically to empower other techies to try to get the kind of stuff that I get, the kind of deals that I get. And I wanted to explain the number one reason, the biggest thing, I've been doing this for since 2006, and this is the biggest conclusion I have come to as far as the difference between people like me and the average buyer and why I am just, I just pick up deal after deal after deal. And it literally comes down to one thing, okay? It is, it is the biggest thing that, that makes it so that I end up with these deals is that most people who go on, on OfferUp, Craigslist, Facebook market, most of those people and you're probably one of them, unless you've done this, unless you do what I do, um, you're probably one of them. Um, most people assume that that um, being screwed over is the natural state, that when you go on Craigslist or offer up, that the natural state of things is getting screwed over, and that not getting screwed over is the exception. It's exactly the opposite. Now it is true that I have a lot more experience. So I can look at it, I can look at something and I have more red flags that I'm looking for. I have more, you know, just trigger points, shall I say, where I can look at a picture of a computer and say, okay, that's that's not right. But that being said, I would say the vast majority of people that I end up buying stuff from end up being amazing people. I end up some of my closest friends. Uh, th that I have are people that I have met through just buying and selling on on the local market. I, in fact, I I had given up selling locally um, just because I make enough money on my job now. I don't need it, but I'm probably going to start doing it again because I realized I wasn't networking anymore, and that's how I'm meeting awesome people. Um, if anyone's watching this and uh, and they bought a computer from me, give me a shout out. You know, say hey, I bought a computer from this guy. I did that for many, 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 many years. Um, and I mean, the deals that you get, once you, once you get this mentality out of your head, it's the, it's the, it's too good to be true, right? The, the, this deal is too good to be true mentality. I'm here to tell you, sometimes that's true, but on, when you're dealing on the local market, especially in computer stuff, something is, something's only worth what someone's willing to pay. And it's only worth what somebody is trying to sell it for. And, you know, you do get those people that go on eBay, they spend, you know, they spend three or four hours, they go through all the sold listings, um, they go through OfferUp, they go through Craigslist, and they figure out, okay, approximately exactly what's my item worth. But a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people, they have, you know, they have this old computer that's sitting in the corner of the garage, they just want it gone, and, and their thought process is $100 buys a tank of gas. I want hundred dollars. That's the thought process. Uh, the other thought process, especially in markets like mine, Seattle, there's a lot of money around here. There's a lot of people with a lot of money, and this is something I've, I've, I always try to explain to my friends that the way this works is that if you make five hundred thousand dollars a year, even less, if you make a quarter of that, half of that, you know, let's say you make two hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, you let's say you've got a computer that let's say you've got a well, well let's just throw out there twelve seven hundred k thirty eighty with thirty two gigs of RAM on a, a mid level board. That's you know some of you might think different, but in my world that's a twelve hundred dollar computer. In in twenty in twenty twenty four that's a twelve hundred dollar ish computer. Um, <clears throat> and I've sold them for less. The last one I sold at that spec I sold for eleven hundred. Really nice kit actually, um, and. Uh, a lot of those people, you know, if you make $200,000 a year, if you make that kind of money to you selling that computer, because the, the higher, the, the closer you get to the actual value of an item, the more people expect of you. You got to, you got to reload windows. I know to us, that seems simple, but you got to reload windows. You got to clean it up. You got to advertise it. You got to put your afternoon into meeting with people, half of whom are going to, are going to ghost you. That's not worth it to a lot of these people. They
they th that's not money made. Once they get that thousand dollars in hand that their computer was worth, that's not money made to them. That's their afternoon lost. That's a busy person who who's who's who works 60, 70, 80 hours a week. They don't have time for that. They just want to post their computer. They know they're giving a good deal. They post that computer for five hundred dollars. They know that they're and that they're going to get me. Okay, I'm going to email them and I'm going to say. Here's my phone number. Please call me. I have cash in hand. Let's meet up. And then they're going to get six other people to email them that take the Jay's two cents advice and say, yeah, hey, you know, can we meet at Starbucks? Do you think you could bring a monitor so I can plug it in and make sure it works? All that kind of stuff. And that's just... That's like, if you want good deals, you got to you gotta be willing to take some risk, but I'm here to tell you, back to where I was, where I originally was, the, the deals are not too good to be true, just because they seem too good to be true, and everyone isn't out to screw you. So you'll meet some of the nicest people on, on your local market. Give it a chance. I know it's a risk. You might lose some money, but you probably won't. Just give it a chance. Have a good time. Meet some awesome people. That is my, that is my, the number one mistake people make when they're dealing on the local market trying to get deals. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If, uh, if you find this useful, yeah, I'm going to start asking. If you find this useful, like and subscribe. I, I got to do it. I got to do it. Everyone else is doing it. All of this tech stuff that you see that I put on this channel, I, I'm, I'm not like waiting for the channel to make money. I'm going out. I'm using my money. I'm buying fun hardware. We're playing around with it. We're building systems. If this channel takes off and I make some money and I make some of that money back, great. If I don't, great. We had some fun with some hardware. I've met some cool people. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video.